Once again, I am uh, Mathieu Ki from uh, URAXIS Japan. Uh, full description, maybe not so much. Uh, I could, I guess, but yeah, I won't try to uh, focus on uh, some of the uh, aspects, definitely. Uh, first of all, for uh, those of you who aren't familiar with URAXIS, and I, I believe many might uh, be, uh, this is not a private company, it is an uh, initiative of the European Commission. Uh, that is, like I said before, uh, in support of people, in support of researchers, and in support of their projects. How and why? Uh, uh, it is uh, by uh, uh, allowing them to have a better idea plan, to have better career opportunities, and to do better research through uh, internationalization. Right, so we support research cooperation and we support research mobility. This is also very important. Uh, today, indeed, is about science, is about innovation, which is sometimes uh, thought to be only you know, natural sciences or hard sciences, but in our case, we support uh, all uh, disciplines, of course, including uh, humanities and social sciences. And I, for one, uh, even though I am a physicist uh, by background, I also believe that, well, like humanities and social sciences are important for innovation as well. Right, academia and private sector, obviously. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, also something that is not mentioned here, but it is uh, that we provide services to uh, researchers and innovators at any uh, stage of their career. Uh, that could be a uh, master's student, for example, in the lab doing a project, a PhD student, obviously, uh, and then a postdoctoral researcher or researcher in academia or in the private sector. Or even independent researchers, they do uh, they tend to exist. So this is it for our definition of what is a researcher, and then uh, there's also the uh, very specific URAXIS definition of the uh, European research area. Basically, we support uh, uh, exchanges between Japan and what is called the European research area. Uh, this is an, an ensemble of EU, still for now 28, and uh, a number of uh, so-called associated countries, uh, which are numbered at uh, 16 right now, but uh, and we should make a total for uh, uh, 44, but uh, in the case of Euraxis, we support uh, for only 40 countries uh, for now. So we have a 28, 28 plus the countries that we support here, um, um, all of which are also uh, within the uh, Horizon uh, 2020 uh, program. Yes, and since we are not a company, our services also, uh, like uh, Lucas services, are. Um, and 100% uh, uh, and open. Okay, so what do we uh, uh, propose? We have, if you remember just one thing, please remember this. This is the uh, online portal, uraxis.org. Uh, and under that, you actually have access to uh, all the range of our uh, services. Uh, some of it is also available offline. We, I hope we are offline today, for example. Uh, but most of it is available online. And so from uh, your left to your right, you would have uh, uh, on the left the uh, jobs and funding database. Uh, this is a, uh, uh, a job database for researchers and innovators. Uh, most of the job offers are in Europe, and some of them are outside of Europe, for example, in Japan. Um, this is uh, something that is uh, very important because, well, researchers, innovators tend to look for jobs at specific places, specific platforms, and we offer that at least for Europe. The closest equivalent that I can think of in Japan would be the uh, JST's uh, JREKIN database, for example. Uh, except in our case, we also have uh, uh, an important number of offers from the private sector. Right here, you would also find uh, funding offers, uh, both for individuals but also for institutions, including uh, uh, private uh, uh, institutions looking to do uh, international positive projects in research and innovation. Uh, in the uh, second um, branch, uh, you would have access to uh, a whole range of information and uh, assistance services. These are uh, mostly directed towards uh, people who want to uh, relocate to Europe, for example, for their uh, career. And there would be need of uh, 
a range of services such as how to find a visa or how to find accommodation or how to find funding for my research. Uh, this is uh, uh, the uh, part where you can also find uh, services available offline in Europe in this case. Uh, then, third branch, you have a, a partnering tool. This is only online, so you have access to, uh, I think now it's about 30,000 uh, profiles of researchers and almost uh, uh, 10,000, I think, or, or maybe even 12,000 uh, profiles of research institutions in Europe. And then, of course, uh, and this is one of the reasons why uh, you and I, specifically I, and here today, uh, we have a worldwide uh, branch where we try to link different parts of the world. And uh, your, as you can see here, we have branches uh, in uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, uh, and different uh, uh, hubs, let's say, regions. And one of them uh, is Japan. Japan has started in 2008, if my memory is correct, or already 11 years ago. Right, so uh, just going a little bit into details uh, the, um, of, of the uh, different services and more specifically uh, in this case of the jobs database. Uh, I would hope that it was uh, uh, as easy of use as the uh, um, UJAPAN uh, tech transfer of that. Uh, we are making our our, our best effort to, to, to work towards uh, making it easy for users, but uh, specifically for people in the, well, let's say, innov innovation uh, circles. What you can do with that, you can obviously uh, find a career opportunity in Europe uh, for yourself of, or, or for your colleagues. Uh, as I said, uh, the uh, Euractus job database is for researchers and innovators, both academia and private sector, but most importantly, it is the most important one in Europe. Right? This is the, uh, uh, the, the, the biggest database for research and innovation related jobs in Europe. And it is 100% free of use, right? It's not a, a for-profit uh, um, thing. Um, and uh, of course, for uh, institutions, including private institutions, including institutions not based in uh, Europe, right? So if your uh, institution here is uh, in Japan, you would like to have a try to offer as long as you are doing uh, research and development or innovation, right? Uh, if you're just selling products, the offer will not be accepted, obviously. But if it is for um, research or innovation job, then you can register online and then you can post uh, offers on behalf of your institution. Right, and uh, in the case you are an individual, you would find about yeah between five and, and uh, 5,000 and 1,000 uh, uh, job offers at any time. You can look at the uh, 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 portal. Of course, it changes uh, in, in depending on the period of the year. Uh, and if you are a uh, an institution, you would find about uh, 29,000 or 25,000 uh, uh, active researchers or innovators uh, CVs, which you could also recruit. Yes, uh, um, for example. Uh, this was brought from, from uh, some time ago, but it's uh, uh, similar uh, any time we look at it. Uh, this is how the uh, jobs uh, database looks like. Um, well, it's, it, it works like any uh, type of job databases that you could have. You have different uh, filters. You can filter by career level, by research field. Obviously, you can uh, add your own keyword. Uh, the country also, because this is a multi country thing, right? You can search for a job in. 40 plus uh, different countries there. <coughs> and, uh, and you can also filter if you are a, an individual researcher and you want to only work at a company, for example, you could filter only for large companies, uh, uh, for example, or you could filter only for startup jobs, for example, as well. That uh, uh, works. Uh, and um, compared to, let's say, not normal. Compared to offers in academia, for example, uh, these uh, uh, private sector uh, offers would appear on the portal with a, a specific tag. For example, here uh, I just uh, clicked uh, two, which is an example, of course, but I clicked two of them, and uh, they appear as you know SME offers in that case. Uh, this is to uh, push or to uh, 
appeal a little bit more to the uh, researchers and uh, uh, applicants that, well, it's, it's, it's also interesting to work in the uh, private sector. Uh, when it comes to the uh, funding database, this is really about regularly uh, uh, coming uh, funding opportunities. Maybe you've noticed, but on the um, uh, on the desk uh, outside of this uh, room, there's a uh, document called well, it's only in Japanese, but uh, in English it would be called the uh, uh, EU Japan Guide for uh, Researchers and uh, Funding Guide for uh, Researchers. Uh, Japanese, I don't remember how they how we titled it. Uh, I don't remember, but it would be something like. Uh, Nichio and Jose Kaku something. I don't remember the exact title. If uh, one of you has an example, maybe uh, you can show it to me afterwards. Uh, this is the uh, uh, electronic version of it, right? So you have uh, funding offers from uh, national funding agencies, also uh, regional institutions, and uh, also pan national EIE funding offers there. And if you are an individual researcher or an innovator, you can find uh, possibilities to uh, fund your um, international research project using this database. Uh, and uh, on the other way around, if you are an institution or, or even a private foundation, for example, and you would want your uh, funding uh, offers that allow, let's say, to have exchanges between Japan and Europe um, on the portal, then you can also uh, uh, have it uh, uh, at the portal, even if you are based in Japan. A partnering tool, as I said, uh, we have uh, this is only available uh, online. Um, it's a fairly new uh, uh, addition to our portal, but uh, what we can do with it, well, it's a partnership tool, so you can uh, find potential uh, collaboration partners be it individuals or uh, organizations. And uh, one of the interesting things there is that if people are uh, uh, um, take enough time to fill their, uh, their uh, profile, then um, they can uh, give you some pretty interesting information about what they are looking for or uh, what they are capable of doing. Right, and this is also from some time ago, but I, I tried to uh, find individual members who are interested in, for example, co-founding this partner or finding a partner for a startup. So you can find people who have such interests, a very specific interest with uh, this uh, issue. Oops, sorry, excuse me. Uh, and same thing for uh, organizations, right? So you can also find organizations that support uh, such initiatives and well, this is just an example uh, in Belgium, uh, but uh, then you could potentially partner with uh, that uh, specific institution in order to have a project in the realm of uh, innovation, or in this case, it was uh, looking to, to uh, found uh, startups. Uh, yes, and let's come to maybe the uh, uh, last part, uh, last branch, worldwide art. Obviously, I will not really talk about my belief in other countries, I will only talk about Japan. Um, so in Japan, uh, your access, yes, it's only 1% of the time, so there's only that many things that we can do. Uh, I tend to say we, uh, my colleague Luca tend to say I. It's the same thing, though. Uh, we are mostly uh, one-man job, uh, each and every one of us. Um, so what we do in your access Japan, we provide uh, information for your, um, like I said, research collaboration or research mobility project. We organize uh, uh, information events such as today, networking events also, uh, some things a little bit less formal sometimes, so that people can network because it's one thing to have the right information, but you also need, like I said in the welcome remark, you also need the right people to uh, implement your research. Right, and doing so, we have been able to master a, a community, I like to call it a community more than a, a mailing list, but a community that can interact with uh, more than 3,700 researchers and innovators and research managers, etc. Et and of course, all of that is free. So here comes the uh, second thing that I would like to, you, you to remember. The first thing was 
the Eurexis website is Eurexis.org, is uh, Eurexis support, and the Japan-specific webpage, if you cannot find it through the uh, main page, is Japan.Eurexis.org. So two things to remember, shouldn't be that difficult. Uh, this is it for my presentation of the uh, Eurexis website. Thank you.